Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and join the family because I would love to have you here. So today I really want to go for a nice, glowy, soft glam beat. Not too much going on the eyes, but still a moment, okay? I feel like it's going to be a very beginner-friendly, full-face look. And a lot of you guys asked for more beginner-friendly videos, so I hope you enjoy it. But honestly, the most exciting part of today's video for me is being able to work with Dior Beauty. I know guys, Dior Beauty is the sponsor for today's video. and. I'm just so excited because this is such a dream to work with Dior. I mean, your girl is tapping into luxury beauty today and I love that for us. So basically today is going to be a get ready with Dior experience and I'm also very excited to be trying their new foundation launch and this is Dior's Forever Skin Glow Foundation with SPF 15 and as you can tell by the name, this is the more hydrating radiant version of the foundation. They also have a matte formula so the fact that they launched two formulas for each skin type at the same time is amazing with a great shade range and it's now available for you guys to purchase you can head over to the dior site i'll be linking every single product in the description box below as always but you can also take advantage of dior's amazing self-gifting experience so you can go ahead and either treat yourself to some dior or treat your loved ones and honestly what really surprised me guys was the prices for this to be dior beauty for luxury products like i cannot believe the quality that you're gonna get so don't get discouraged i just really want to put this little warning out there don't get discouraged by seeing the name dior and think that it's gonna be extremely unaffordable for you to try out these products for yourself i'm so excited guys with that being said i'm gonna zoom you guys in closer and let's get into today's look so you guys know the drill, my brows are already filled in and my eyes are prepped for our eyeshadow. So today I went in with this brow product from Dior and this is their Dior Show Kabuki Brow Styler. And I used the shade Dark Brown, which was literally like a perfect shade for me. Honestly, I had to tell you guys real quick, I really love the brush tool at the end. Normally with regular brow pencils, you get a like brush spoolie, but this is different as you guys can see. And I just feel like it's a lot more softer on your brows and your skin. Like it does brush it out and blend the product in really nicely. Like today I did go in with a heavy hand with my brows. I went in for a little bit of a darker brow. If you want to like really use a light amount of product and blend it in because it is pigmented. Let me just say that guys. So just keep that in mind when you use it. So I feel like that's going to be great for longevity wise. You're going to have a good amount of product for a long period of time if it is that pigmented because you're going to use less, right? Absolutely love it. And I I just feel like in general on the skin some brow spoolies can be so harsh on the skin and then you feel like you're rubbing against your face too much you know what i mean i really like how soft the bristles are in this brush and then i went in with dior's forever skin correct 24 hour caring full coverage creamy concealer in the shade 4w it's literally like a perfect shade on my lid i use that to just carve out and clean up my brows as well as prep my eyes for my eyeshadow we're gonna get more in depth to the rest of the Dior products once we get into our complexion and our lip combo of the day. So in the meantime, I'm actually going to start with eyeshadow. I'm going to be taking this palette from Sigma Beauty. If you guys are regulars here on my channel, then you've seen me use this palette quite a lot when I do soft glam looks because I feel like it has the perfect tones that I like to go in with personally for a soft glam look. So I'm going to start off with this brown shade right over here as my transition color. And this is in the shade Basque. And I'm going to pick it up with my Sigma Diffused Cream. E38 brush to start from the outer corner like I always do and work my way in. See, I love that as a transition color because I want the eye look to be very soft today. And now I'm going to go in with this shade right over here just to add some definition into the eye. Normally, you guys know if I really wanted to make the eye look very intense, I would go in with like these darker brown tones. But we're just going to keep the vibes chill today. And I'm going to go in with this shade. This is called Oasis. And I'm going to be taking that on my Sigma E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush. Okay, so I'm happy with how that looks for now. I'm gonna go in with my Sigma eyeshadow base in the shade Persuade. You guys already know the drill. Just to clean up the lid and really prep for our shimmer shade. I'm gonna speed through this part because I feel like I do it all the time.
All right, and now I'm gonna go in with the shimmer and I'm gonna be taking this shade right over here and it's called Luster. I don't wanna go in with too much of a gold because of like what I'm wearing. Like this shade of blue, I feel like goes more with the silver tones, you know? But at the same time, I don't wanna go for a silver eye look. It fits within the vibes that I am picturing for today's look, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up on my Sigma E55 eye shading brush. Okay, so for the final part of the eyes before we go into complexion, I decided to tap into a little bit of this Dior Beauty Highlighter. This is their Dior Forever Couture Luminizer Intense Highlighting Powder in the shade 01 Nude Glow. Look at this packaging though, guys. How cute is that to be carrying in your purse? It comes with a beautiful mirror, and this is what the shade looks like, guys. So what I wanted to do is just pop it in on the inner corner right over here. Lately, I've been really enjoying highlighting this part of the inner corner of my eye because I do tend to have more sensitive eyes. So like highlighting, you know how normally people highlight like right over here? It don't work for me because my eyes will just start watering. So I've been really liking the look of seeing makeup artists do the inner corner highlight right over here. And this technique works perfectly for those of us who have inner corner struggles, okay? So basically you just take it right in this corner right over here, as you can see. This highlight is literally stunning, guys. This is gonna really look nice nice once we do our concealer and everything it's gonna really shine through okay i zoomed you guys out a bit because we're gonna dive into complexion now and i'm so excited for this part because i get to try the new dior foundation i'm gonna start off with prepping my skin first and of course i'm gonna be taking my m cosmetics face cuddle moisture balm you guys already know the drill i love this to prime my skin to give me that hydrated glowy look okay and how cute is this it kind of matches my hijab vibes the blue tones okay we love <laughs> So now I'm gonna go in with the star of the show, which is Dior's Forever Skin Glow Foundation with SPF 15. I'm going in with the shade 4.5 W and I'm not gonna color correct or anything with this foundation because I want you guys to see what the true coverage is. So this is the Radiant formula. And like I mentioned to you guys earlier, there's also a matte formula for my oily skin girls, okay? So I'm gonna give you guys some tea about the foundation. Now it's supposed to be a radiant finish with 24 hour wear. But what I find really cool about this formula is that that the base of the foundation is composed of 86% floral skincare, which helps to give you that intense hydration on the skin, allows your skin to breathe, and over a period of time, day by day, it helps to also improve the look of your skin. You guys already know how much I love the concept of skincare meets makeup, because at the end of the day, we should be using makeup that is best for our skin, and it's also formulated with protection against UVA, UVB, and blue light exposure, and it's also pretty cool that it is supposed to hold up in humidity, like intense heat, no matter what weather condition, it's supposed to stay put. Keep your skin looking smooth, illuminated, hydrated, and radiant. So I cannot wait to test this out in the summer, guys. I'm gonna give you guys an updated video to see how long it lasts. Now, when it comes to coverage, it's more of a medium coverage and it comes in 40 shades. So the shade range is really good, guys, and hopefully you guys can find a shade to work for you. But to touch back on to the skincare component that I thought was really cool about this foundation as well, after one week of use, a lot of people noticed their skin was looking more hydrated and plump with this foundation. And after a month, they noticed that their skin looked a lot more radiant and beautiful. So overall, there's so many pros to this foundation. So I'm really excited to apply it. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up first with my Sephora Pro 57 foundation brush. But yeah, guys, that is the foundation. Overall, I'm really happy with how it looks. I forgot to mention this retails for $52 USD. So now we're gonna go in with the concealer. Now, again, this is Dior's Forever Skin Correct 24 hour caring full coverage creamy concealer. So it retails for $36 USD and it has a big shade range too, just like the foundation. It comes in 30 shades. Now this concealer is supposed to be long wearing for 24 hours. It's meant to cover your redness, dark circles, which we need over here. You guys already know I am always trying to hide my raccoon eyes at any chance I can get to cover my dark circles, please, we love. So I'm excited to see the coverage of this today. And it's also meant to cover your blemishes, any other imperfections on your face that you really want to hide or spot correct. You can do that with this concealer without it kind of settling into your fine lines, which is really important when it comes to concealer, okay? You really want a flawless concealer that lasts from day to night, especially if you're gonna be out all day long. So that is what this concealer does. So I'm gonna go ahead with some of that. Now it says that you can just get a great amount of coverage with one swipe so that's what I'm gonna do. 
My first thoughts on the concealer, guys, it feels so nice and light underneath the eyes. Like some concealers are very thick, you know what I mean? But this is not that. And I'm glad I actually went in with this shade because I really like how it is brightening up the face. I already feel like it looks more lifted and everything. So I'm glad I went in with this shade. I feel like I'll go in with 4W more when I want a more everyday glam when I really don't want a highlighted under eye, if that makes sense. But since we are doing a soft glam look, we can go for a brightened under eye, you know? All right, guys, so I just quickly went ahead and set my under eyes with my Laura Mercy translucent powder like I always do. And can we just talk about how smooth my under eyes look, guys? I think this is the most smooth slash like flawless my under eyes have ever looked using a concealer because most of the time I feel like it does get a little cakey and then I have to drench my face in my setting spray to really get rid of the powderiness or the thick cakiness of the concealer. I'm in shock right now. Like I feel like I found a concealer that I might like more than my Too Faced. And I never thought I would say that, guys. And I'm not saying that for the sake of the fact that they are sponsoring today's video. It's just like my under eye looks smooth like butter. And my skin is going through it right now. Like, I think it's the most driest textured it's ever been. And you guys probably can't tell as much because, you know, thanks to the power of lighting, it gives you that airbrush look, you know? The fact that it looks this smooth. Okay, Dior Beauty, I see you guys. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer quickly from Ilya Beauty. This is their Night Light Bronzing Powder in the shade Nog. Novelty. So this is what it looks like and I'm gonna pick that up on my Sephora Pro Contour 79 brush And now to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be taking this Dior Beauty Powder. And this is Dior's Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. And I'm gonna be taking the shade 3 Neutral. I'm gonna pick that up on my Sigma Soft Blend 60 brush. Now this powder retails for $40 USD. It comes in 10 different shades. Now this powder is a multi-use powder. So you can use it on top of foundation to mattify the skin. Or you can wear it on its own. And you can even use it to create a sun-kissed look depending on the intensity of the shade that you pick up and the result is supposed to be a nice translucent natural finish on the skin to be really beautiful now i really love that it gives you like a naturally matte finish but it's still very luminous it does not give you that powdery effect which is really really important especially since i have drier skin i do not have time for a cakey powdery face powder to set my face with and what's really cool about dior backstage is that it's actually one of the first professional makeup brands to be inspired from the energy of the backstage runway show so I thought that was so cool. So just a little tea on this powder. But overall, I think you guys can just really see on its own how airbrushed it looks on my skin. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. And this is Dior's Forever Perfect Fix. It's meant to set, refresh, and hydrate your skin. Now this is Dior's first ever triple action face mist. It has a lasting wear, sets your makeup. It delivers instant hydration to the skin and creates a radiant finish all in one single step. Now this retails for $43. USD and the micro diffusion of this face mist creates a sheer veil of freshness on the skin and also prolongs the longevity of your makeup without altering the color of your makeup if that makes sense so basically your makeup is gonna stay fresh and flawless and that is what we want okay you guys know I'm all about team flawlessness over here all right <laughs> And you guys know I like to drench my face in setting spray. So I'm gonna give that a second to really settle into the skin and we'll continue with our complexion products. So now I'm gonna quickly go in with some blush and I'm gonna take this one by Nabla. This is their Skin Glazing Glass Finish Glow Powder in the shade Lola. And I'm gonna pick it up on my Huda Beauty Cheek Blush and Glow Brush. So yeah, the face is really giving, but now it's time to go in with some highlight because is it really a jasmine beat if there isn't no glow? I don't think so, okay? <laughs> now for highlight, I'm gonna take this one by Dior and guys, it's the packaging for me. It just screams classiness. So I'm gonna be taking the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer Intense Highlighting Powder in 05 Rosewood Glow. So it retails for $48 USD and it comes in six shades. So this highlight has like an iridescent finish and it's supposed to just boost your skin's Radiance, so it has concentrated pearlescent pigments with a multi-dimensional glow and it's composed of 95% natural origin pigment. Overall, the highlight is meant to blend into the skin seamlessly and gives you a perfect wear from day to night. It's infused with pansy extract and it protects the skin's natural hydration and it's pretty much supposed to be comfortable on the skin guaranteed. So I'm excited to get into that today. Just gonna take it on this fan brush, just like that. Are you guys seeing this glow though? Oh my God. 
god, that's so pretty. And I love the tones because I feel like it fits in with my hijab really nicely. Like it's not too golden, which is exactly what I didn't want for my highlight today. Dior, you guys really snapped. You guys really snapped on this highlight. So now I'm gonna dive back into the eyes and I'm actually gonna mix these two eyeliners just to create a nice bright nude on my waterline. I'm gonna take this Nabla Cupid's Arrow in the shade Arrow 1 and then mix it a little bit with this white eyeliner from MAC. This is their Snow Way PowerPoint Eye Pencil. So now I'm gonna go in with mascara and I'm gonna be taking this one by Dior as well. And this is the Dior Show Mascara in the shade Pro Black. And now this mascara comes in eight shades and it retails for $29.50 USD. Now this new generation formula reproduces that effect of lash extensions that is commonly used by makeup artists in runway shows. And what I really like is that it has an airlock wiper that really prevents the mascara from drying out. Which you guys know, mascaras can dry out in 2.5 seconds. So I love that they have that. All right guys, so I just went ahead and plopped on some lashes. I went in with my velour lashes in the style feeling myself because I am feeling myself today, okay? And then I went ahead and lined my lips real quick. And you guys already know, I went in with my M Cosmetics Foxy Soft Blur Lip Liner. And for lipstick, I'm gonna take this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Butterscotch. It's their satin lipstick. And then I'm gonna go on top of it with the Dior Lip Glow. Now you guys already know this product went extremely viral on TikTok. So I'm excited to get into it and I'm really happy that the shade they sent me is like more of a dark burgundy-ish plum shade because those are the type of tones I like to wear for every day. So I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of this lip glow. They also sent me another lip glow, but this is like in their lip balm formula, if you know what I mean. This is in the shade Berry and then this one's in the shade Mahogany and it comes in 18 shades. I cannot wait to try different shades because people really love this product so I really want to see what the hype is about and try a few shades. So the lip glow retails for $35. The lip glow is Dior's first lip balm formulated with natural origin ingredients and it provides like a natural color on the lips and has a wear of six hours and hydrates your lips up to 24 hours. So now I'm gonna go ahead with this shade mahogany like I mentioned. All right guys, and this is the final lip. It's so cute. I am so obsessed. I feel like this is definitely a very Jasmine soft glam look. If you guys decide to recreate it, please tag me on Instagram because I love when you guys do that. Make sure you come say hi in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this look and let me know your thoughts on all the Dior products that we use today, what you'll be picking up. Have you tried any of their products? Let me know in the comments or if you wanna just come say hi, you can do that as well because I love talking to you guys. I wanna say thank you so much to Dior Beauty for sponsoring today's video. I feel like this is such an exciting sponsorship for me and I really genuinely enjoyed working with all their products and testing it out today. The foundation is flawless, okay? I feel like the foundation and the concealer are gonna be a huge staple in my makeup routine going forward because I absolutely love how it's sitting on the skin and especially the concealer. Like I can't believe I found a concealer that topped my Too Faced concealer. So make sure to check out all the Dior Beauty products that I use today in the description box below. You can shop all these lovely goodies at Dior beauty.com also make sure you take advantage of your self-giving experience so that you can treat yourself or a loved one i mean why not okay these products are everything i am still so impressed by the price that dior created these products and i really feel like it's inclusive for everyone thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end make sure you subscribe join the family and like always i'll see you guys in my next video Just do what's right.